Thanks for joining us. Three convicted Minnesota terrorists learned their punishments today. They are part of a group of Minneapolis men who federal investigators say tried to make their way to Syria. Today, a judge sentenced Abdullahi Youssef, Abdi Rizek Warsami, and Zachariah Abdurrahman in federal court in Minneapolis. But not all of the men will remain behind bars. Esme Murphy was in court. She joins us now with more on the sentencing. Esme. Well, Amelia, I can tell you what's clear from the first three sentencings is that it pays to cooperate with the government. Two of the defendants today, Abdullahi Youssef and Abdi Rizak Warsame, got substantially lighter sentences for not only pleading guilty, but testifying against their friends. First defendant to be sentenced was Abdullahi Youssef. Youssef, for his part, said, I apologize to my family, I apologize to the United States of America, and to my community. Judge Michael Davis became emotional as he talked about how difficult the sentencing was. While prosecutors recommended three and a half years, the judge sentenced Youssef to time served, plus one year in a halfway house, and 20 years supervised release. Afterwards, his father and other relatives expressed their relief. Feeling, feeling very, very good. It's very, very, very good. It's a very nice. That's Everything is okay. The second defendant sentenced was Abdi Rizak Warsami, who spoke to 60 Minutes last month about being lured into supporting ISIS by terror videos. It made you feel like, like you're special, you know, and like you're the chosen one. Judge Michael Davis expressed skepticism about Warsami's sincerity, saying, I am not convinced that you are not still a jihadist. While prosecutors recommended a 54-month sentence, Davis sentenced Warsami to two and a half years in prison, one year in a halfway house, and 20 years supervised release. Afterward, his family and attorney said they are pleased with the sentence. I have talked to my client about the sentence, and he's very, very happy. The third defendant, Zachariah Abdurrahman, pled guilty but did not cooperate and testify for the prosecution. Prosecutors recommended 15 years. Instead, the judge gave him a 10-year sentence, one year in a halfway house, and supervised release. Afterwards, his father said he's glad he was arrested before he could make it to Syria. Ultimately, he took responsibility for what he did, you know, and uh, what I'm glad mostly is that he's here and he's alive. Now, it appears that the order of sentencing is going from the defendants that prosecutors feel were the least involved in the plot to the ones who were the most involved. Tomorrow, there are three more that plead guilt, pled guilty but didn't agree to testify against their friends. And on Wednesday, the three who went to trial and were convicted will be sentenced. They face much stiffer sentences. All right. Thank you, Esme.